Uh, well, I think the, the main difference is we've had a, a fair emphasis on the, the physical nature of the game. You know, it's been well documented. We've done a fair bit of wrestling and boxing, and even some of the work we just did out there at the end of training had a, you know there's some running, but it had a physical nature to it. So that's been a, a strong emphasis, and uh, and probably fairly had to be because the the profile of our squads changed a fair bit over the last year or so. We've got a lot of young guys, and so we've got to put some physical development into them in regards to their you know, putting on weight and developing their strength. There's a lot of talk they train too hard on the Uh, no, I, I wouldn't subscribe to the, the theory that we're trying too hard under Craigie. Um, we've got a, you know, there's no substitute for hard work. You can't, uh, you, know, you can't go to a chemist and get a pill that makes you fitter. You've got to do the work. So there's no way around that. We'll, we'll train hard and we'll, we'll train a bit differently. Uh, as, as I said, we've, we probably haven't done as much running this, this time around because we've had to put our emphasis on other areas. Like, you know, guys are doing four or five weight sessions a week, so that time's got to come from somewhere. So we have to cut back a little bit on the matter of volume of running, but. The history of our footy club and the guys we've had here for a while have they've got a strong endurance base, so that's uh, that's not a big concern really. And you would have seen all our young guys; they're terrific runners. We did a fitness test with them this morning, this morning, and all of them are you know super runners, so that's not an issue for us. So who's uh, sort of surprised you're out on the track this pre-season? Um, well, that, I mean, probably the young guys have been perfectly honest. Um, you know, people like Sam Kerridge and um, and uh, Luke Brown, for example, and Mitch Grigg. Those three in particular, because normally the guys coming into a, you know from under eighteen environment are a bit underdone and not ready for the demands of of AFL training, but they've they've uh, hit the ground running. So that's been the most pleasing thing is the the readiness of our new recruits to to come in and get into training. Did anyone enjoy the Christmas break maybe a bit too much, or were they all in pretty good shape when they came back? <laughs> no, nah, pretty good. Uh, they get a pretty detailed program to train on now and. And, uh, and our guys have been pretty reliable in regards to training on their own, so that hasn't been an issue. So w we did some fitness testing on Monday, and that was what we expected. And, and as I said the young guys who weren't there on Monday, they, they did it today, and they were terrific. So, no, it's been, been good. They had, had a fair break. They had about, uh, well, the, the older guys had, you know, it's over two weeks off. The young guys had a camp as well, but they, they did a fair bit of work on their break. Now, we saw Benny Wright training away from the main yeah. today. Anything wrong there? No, well, Ben's had, um, for a number of years now, had a, a, you know, a chronic knee complaint which really necessitates him having a lighter load in regards to how much of running he does. So the plan with him is he's done most of his work on the bike pre-Christmas, done a little bit of football work, and then we'll just uh, gradually ease him into things because um, we just know with him that uh, he's got a huge amount of training background in him, so it doesn't take a much work to come to hand, but just need to be a bit careful with his knee that it doesn't become an issue during the season. Uh, this is a good question. Probably have, yeah. Uh, in fairness to the, the management of the club, the, in most things that we've wanted, we've, we've been able to get. And, and that's um, probably not as reflected as much in equipment. It's been more in staff. We've had, um, you know, Matty Bowes come on full time and a uh, new strength coach, Nick Paulos, has been brilliant acquisitions to our club. I, I, said to our, I said to Sando, they might be our best recruits for the season because they've been terrific in the way, uh, as I mentioned earlier, developing our young guys in the gym. Their work's been outstanding, so that's that for mine's been a, a plus in having more resources in that area. Yeah. And Paddy Dangerford, out there, was he all right? He sort of seemed. Oh, no, he's been crook. He had a he had a bit of gastro, so he had to duck off the track every now and then to visit the toilet. So that was his problem. So you know he was fine. <laughs>